Let's say your product takes a direct flight from Alibaba straight to Amazon FBA. No middleman involved. So from the factory to FBA to your customer's doorstep. How cool is that? Pretty cool, right? But the question is, is it really possible? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how to ship products from Alibaba suppliers to Amazon FBA. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, before that, you need to create the listings. And after that, you need to create the shipment plans for Amazon FBA. This is because it provides you with the clear details about what you are sending, how much of it, and where it's all headed. So before you create a shipment, you need to know a few details from the suppliers. First, you need to know the supplier's current address, zip code, and details about the products. The supplier should be able to give you all of this information. Next up, you will need to know about the products. How many units are there in total? How many units are in each case? And what are the dimension and weight of per case? Also, you need to get the lowdown from the suppliers on the type of paper they will use for the box ID level. Is it just regular printing or thermal printing? This is a crucial information that you need to know. Next up, you will need to get the scope on how they are planning to ship your products. Are they are using ground shipping, air shipping or by sea shipping? This is also related with the delivery time. Finally, you will want to get the scope on about the delivery window and when the item will arrive to Amazon FBA. Basically, these two information and this two estimation will help you to understand when the item will be available to sell on. And also, this is required box for Amazon FBA shipment creation. You can get all the info by checking out your supplier's Alibaba pages or by dropping a mail or message. Okay, after collecting the information, first you need to log in to Amazon Seller Central. Go and log in. And then go to Inventory and navigate to FBA Inventory tab under Settings. Mm, here you find your product listings. Now select the product that you want to send from Alibaba. Expand the drop down menu next to it. Here it is. And select Send Replenish Inventory. Oh, well, after selecting that, you are redirecting to the page where you can set up the shipping plans. Okay, this is the page. Here you need to enter package details. Here you can see the ship from segments. This is it. Right under the ship from, you can see another button which called ship from another address. Just click on that. Here we are including the address that we gather from suppliers. Once you click that, select add contract. This will bring you to the page where you actually input the supplier's information. Okay, here it is. You can see the page and here you need to input the country of suppliers. I mean which country or region the supplier is staying in. Their company name, their full name, street address, city, region, state, zip code, etc, etc. Well, sometimes finding zip code is quite a difficult task. So if you are finding it hard, then you can Google it and search it and find the zip code. If you cannot find it by searching, you can also ask your supplier. Okay, fill up according to your supplier's information. Though company name is optional, use it if you have it. After filling up with the information, click the update address and then click select. Okay, your ship from address are updated now. Alright, now come to the next marketplace destination where your products are going to. For me, it's the United States. If you are from Canada or some other countries, please select yours. Next, you will see a SKU details. Make sure this is the product that you are shipping. Reconfirm it. Do check the details frequently because Amazon won't allow you to edit that. So this rechecking process will help you to reduce your mistakes. Okay, next thing is packing details. Well, here right beside the SQ details, this is the information of your product, how they are picked, and are there gonna be more than one SQ or single box. So click here and uh, select create new packing template. Well, a new packing will open here, you see. You can give this a uh, unique name. Okay, I am going with this name. Well, the name is okay, I guess. And then next is template type. Here it is a case pack for me. Next up is unit per box. 
unit per box. For this, you need to ask your suppliers how many units they will include in a case pack. Also, you can find it on the supplier's Alibaba page. Go check them out. For us, it is uh, 30 units per box. Here is the box dimension, box weight. We found it from the supplier's Alibaba page. Okay, now from the prep category, we select no prep needed. Do it your way. And now hit the save button here. Next, you need to verify the packing details and change to our template. Then we need to fill up the box under quantity to send. Here it is. So in our case, there is one box with 30 units. Now click ready to send button here. Oh, well, now you can see the loading page here. This is because Amazon is going to calculate if there is any total prep of labeling fees based on the template that you just created. On our case, there is zero cost. Well, we are going to print the SQ labels. So click the button here, print all SQ labels. After clicking that, there will be a new box opened here. Here it is. Mm, here is the SQ label printing format section. We are going to select our desired option. And it is 44 up levels. This is the option. Here it is. Okay. Cut the tab by clicking the cross. Once you confirm that, click confirm and continue. Okay. This part is done. Now move to the step 2. We are going to confirm the shipping details. Then uh, you can see the ship date. This is when your suppliers actually going to ship them from their location to Amazon FBA. This is a question to discuss with your supplier. If both of you are not sure, you can make an estimated based on the best case scenario. Next is shipping mode. Here it is. For hours, it is a small parcel delivery. Next is to select a shipping carrier. For us, we select other, but you will do it your way. Ask your suppliers which carriers they are using for the shipping and then update it. And now the option that how will the product will be transported. We are selecting ground. All right, then you have to select the button, accept the charges and confirm shipping. Well, next, the last step is number three, which is print our box level. We have already asked the supplier what type of shipping papers they are going to use. For us, it is going to be thermal printing. Once you select that, click print and it brought you to a PDF which is actually box ID label. Here it is. There are a couple of things that you want to confirm here. One is FBA store and your personal name. And the second thing is supplier's address. You need to recheck from here. And the last thing, you should check your SQ. Now you download the PDF and send it to your suppliers to let them know that this is the FBA box level for you. Well, jump back to the step number 3. We click proceed and then props up the final step. In this, there is nothing special for you. Only you have to add the tracking ID info. Add that and then click save. So this is the process you have to follow to ship your products from Alibaba to Amazon FBA or maybe China to Amazon FBA. And we have more resources like this. If you want to know more about us, then check out our website, which is ecomclips.com. We have bunch of cool stuff that will help you to level up your Amazon business. We are a full service e-commerce agency with more than 10 years of experience in e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, etc. So we are managing thousands of bestseller products. And it's your time to check out us and make a deal with us. So if you want a A to Z solution for your e-commerce business or maybe a few slight help, then don't forget to call us today. We are ready to help you. See you in the next video. Peace.